Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Dia and I appreciate you stopping by. So today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing of a leather tote that was sent to me by WP Standard. I just recently bought a tote myself from Portland Leather and while I love it, I got it with a zipper and when I purchased it, I was debating if I wanted to get it with a zipper or not, but I decided better to have it and if I didn't wanna use it to just leave it unzipped. But now that I have my Portland leather bag, I'm kind of wishing I didn't get it with a zipper. So when WP Standard reached out to me and asked me if I would like to test out one of their bags, I was so excited. So I chose a tote that was around the same size as my Portland leather bag. I'll go ahead and link the video to that one above. But this one I got in a darker color and without the zipper. So here it is and I have been dying to open it but with the holidays, my daughter being home from college, and then this being mine and my husband's birthday month, I just turned 45 and he just turned 49, we've been celebrating and kind of just enjoying some time off still. So I know the month is almost over, but we're finally um, kind of refocusing and getting our new year started. And I needed the box to this. So here it is, just the bag. It was just in a normal box. And this is how it's wrapped. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open it because I can't wait any longer. I love the smell of leather. Okay, it came with a little card. So this bag is really, really smooth and soft. This is what it looks like. I got it in the chocolate color. I can't wait to see how this ages. Let me see, okay. Beautiful. It has like the rougher leather on the inside. Okay, so here it is. And it has this little keychain thing on the side here that you can take off if you wanted. It has a rather large pocket on the inside. This is a really big pocket. This is really similar to my Portland leather one, uh, which I have sitting right there. So I'll show you guys the difference after. One of the comments that I read on this a lot was about the straps. The straps are really thin and flimsy. Um, I don't mind that because they're soft and I don't feel like they'll dig into my shoulder. But that is one of the comments that I heard about this. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like on me. Let's go ahead and try it on. Here it is. I'm only four foot 11, so <laughs> this bag, I, I like this bag a lot, you guys. I hate to say it, but I think I even like it better than my Portland leather bag. And I'll show you a few reasons why um, when I compare it next to the Portland leather bag. So you know what, they are right. The leather that they used on the straps is a really thin, soft leather. And and like I said, I like it. I can see why some people might not. I don't know if the leather will start to stretch too much once um, you have stuff in the bag. But let me show you what I'm using right now really quick. So this is my current bag like my everyday run around with really quick to the store bag. I got it from Andar and I will leave the link to this video up above. But when I go somewhere to go planning, I can't fit all of my stuff in it. Okay, so the main one I want to compare my bag to is this Portland leather bag. And you can see they're about the same size. You know what? I don't know if it's because of the zipper on this Portland leather bag, but do you see how it's like wide here and then really narrow here? I don't like how that looks. And I don't know if it's just because I got the zipper and, you know, of course it needs to close. I like it when it's a little more squared off at the end. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, anyway, you know what? I am babbling in this video because it's been a long time since I've done an unboxing. 
Anyway, if you want more details on this one, you can go ahead and watch the video. Um, I'll list it above. If you wanna see a closer comparison between the two bags, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to make a video like that. Let's stuff this thing. Let me give you a closer look. It doesn't say the name anywhere on it. There aren't any feet on the bottom. It does have a hard bottom though and I do like that a lot. So I recorded some extra footage of the bag but it got messed up so I thought I would just put a couple of pictures in here and show you the tote up close. These are the straps. They are so floppy and comfortable and I love the way they flip out of the way when you need to open the bag. And then I just thought I would show you the inside as well and the inside pocket. I took this to the mall with me and packed up everything I needed to get some work done and it is by far my favorite tote and not only is it beautiful but it's also comfortable and functional okay guys thank you for sticking around and watching this unboxing i feel like it was my most awkward unboxing ever really quick i wanted to tell you a few things about this bag it does have a lifetime warranty free shipping and free returns that's always comforting to know when you're making a larger purchase. This bag does run around 228 US dollars and I just think it's awesome that they let you return it if you're not satisfied and that it has a lifetime warranty. I treasure all my leather pieces and I'm so grateful that they sent this to me to try out. I love it and I can't wait to use it today. So. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, if you guys wanna see a comparison between this WP Standard Tote and my Portland Leather Tote, let me know and I'll make a video. And if you have any questions about them, go ahead and leave it down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking around. If you liked it, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button. If you wanna see more from me, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified whenever I post a new video, make sure you hit that notification bell. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your new year and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.